guys welcome to my channel nuva tech videos and in today's videos we will see how we can block windows store so nowadays uh, there is a need for all the organization to block uh, the microsoft uh, store because it contains it, it contains uh, many free software online software which you can download easily and install in into the machine so let's go ahead and see how we can block uh, windows store through group policy so guys first we will see uh, what we are trying to do so we will execute a command that is get apex packages so this is also the way uh, to block uh, the programs which are in windows store by default and let's hit this command and see what and all packages are there and they comes with the windows store so you can see a lot of softwares are there And through this process, we will see how we can block it uh, through group policy. And before that guide, I, I would like to tell you what is the location where these programs are default, uh, by default installed uh, in the end user machine. So let's go to command prompt. So here I am using PowerShell only. Uh, as a command prompt so cd go to program files then cd then we will go windows apps oops i don't have control Okay, let me open and that's administrator ID and password. So you can use the command prompt uh, as admin as well. CD, let's go to the path again. CMD. cd program files cd windows windows app apps and here you see the directory so guys today we will block all these softwares which are by default installed along with the microsoft store yes i'll tell you the process if you want to uh, enable any of the feature from here that can be excluded easily but by default now we are uh, planning to block all the apps so let's go to my domain controller and open the group policy console and the guys i have users here so you can deploy the policy to the computers or the users so i will go with the uh, computer the reason behind it is because uh, whoever logs logs into the computer so by default it will be blocked for uh, everyone so i don't need to deploy it again and again to all users in my organization so this is the region only i am deploying it to uh, the computer let's go ahead and create a new policy ms store block
click on that add it go to policies windows security setting and here you will see software restrictions policies right click and uh, new software restriction policies so you will have a bunch of rules so these are the security levels and here we will do it through additional rules so right click on that new path rule so the path uh, we have to use uh, which which i shown you in my computer machine so let's go ahead and check it once again So this is basically the path we will block it through the group policy and also you can see the windows store is opening and 3d builder this is also one of the software this is also opening let's go back to my ad let's paste the path so here is the path which is will, will be blocked and here in the security level we will select as disallowed apply and ok and let's update the group policy again let's go to the computer and here also update slash force so since since this is a computer based policy so we might need to take a reboot of computer so the policy updated successfully let's restart from t0 oh i missed it okay let's restart so after restart let's see any app i try to open 3d builder and this is the things so you should get this warning this app has been blocked by your system administrator and let's try to open calculator yes so this is all guys and also if you want to allow any of the application from the uh, Microsoft store and you just need to check the versions which are available or you can go to the path and then direct reach and if you want to suppose allow calculator you have to pick this path and you can use star because uh, this version it uh, will vary in windows uh, variants so if you want to allow windows calculator follow the path with asterisk so this will be allowed and here at the same place in the domain controller you have to add that path and uh, here this is disallowed and you have to make it allow so this will start working so hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching